Looks like uh, we've opened it up quite a bit. You can tell that we probably need to put another burn on here now. A lot of the vegetation is coming back, but it's really open and uh, you've got your collared lizards that are out here now. And you got the view, that's what I like. I love the view too. Yeah, I bought it about 25 years ago. Took me and my wife decided we want to get out here, buy a piece of ground. So I bought 55 acres. I wanted to grow deer, turkey, squirrels, and stuff like that. I didn't want to grow any crops or anything. Uh, of course, 25 years ago, I used to hunt a lot. Now I don't get to hunt as much because of my oxygen net. But uh, other than that, it's been fantastic. It's, I like the location. It's been real quiet, nice. Nobody ever bothers you here. Well, Paul's got a real unique piece because not only did he have a glade on the property intermixed with some nice woodlands, but he had some interesting species out here. So we came out here one day with Paul. I took a walk and instantly could see that this was some rare habitat that needed some restoration efforts. Yeah, Julie, if I'd have known that little thing there would have brought all this here view out and everything earlier, I'd have had you guys out here a lot sooner. Yeah. I mean, he's one of the reasons of many why we wanted to come out here and restore this area because collared lizards like that, they don't survive anywhere but on this prime open glade habitat. Collared lizards are a unique lizard. The males are very brightly colored, and if you get up real close to them, you notice their heads are abnormally large for their body. Their tails are one and a half times as long as their body. They're not endangered, but their habitat is is a concern, so there's not much of it. Um, so they're a species of concern because they're, they're rare. I'm for anything that will help my property. If it'll bring in uh, more deer or turkey or help these lizards, I like wildlife. More deer. We turkey visited with Paul here. and he decided yeah, that I he wanted to move forward with some habitat now. management. And we managed the glades by cutting all the cedars and then we treated and cutted the woodies and came back in 2016 of October and did a prescribed burn on the property. And we uh, need to do a little more work, but uh, it looks pretty good, really. There's a lot more grasses now, too, out here. You yeah. notice that? Oh, yes. I can just imagine up on the, wood, on the wood's edge here, I can imagine a little turkey nest sitting yeah. out there. My son's been seeing turkey and deer out here. I used to. I don't get out here much because of my uh, oxygen, but He's been seeing a lot of them out here. That's great. Yeah. yeah, my son, I already told him it's his when I go. I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, you get privacy, you got everything you want. Couldn't be any happier.